Consumer price index data shows inflation is up 8.6% over the last year, the highest rate in 40 years. Meanwhile, gas prices are getting closer to a national average of $5 a gallon, very nearly there. ABC News business reporter Alexis Christophorus joins me live now for more on this. Alexis, what do these numbers tell you about this inflation crisis that we're facing? You know, you and I were talking about this last month and we were saying, oh, maybe inflation peaked. Clearly, it has not. If you look at today's report, inflation up 1% year over a uh, month over month, 8.6% year over year. The big culprit, you talked about it, gas prices now flirting with $5 a gallon, which tells us that even in the month of June, June, inflation is still going to hang out at not just a 40-year high. We're now at a fresh 41-year high. In addition to gas prices, food, broad-based, not just meat anymore. Started out with meat being the higher prices. Now it's food across the board going up and rent as well. So it's all of the essentials continuing to move upward, Diane. So what's driving this and when might we see this level off? That's what we all, we're just looking for a little relief. And yeah. it's still the same culprit sort of um, forming this perfect storm for higher prices. A big problem we're having right now is the tight labor market. We don't have enough workers to fill the jobs that are out there. That's pushing wages up and it's very, very inflationary. We have the ongoing war in Ukraine, hurting gas prices, but now also possibly threatening a world food crisis. We've got COVID lockdowns in parts of Asia. That's putting more stress on the supply chains. So a number of things uh, adding to the pressure, including the Federal Reserve, which, by the way, today's report basically guarantees the Fed will continue to be aggressive with hiking interest rates. We're looking at a half point increase uh, actually next week when they meet, another one in July, and now probably all the way through September as they try to rein in inflation. Now, the Fed has raised rates. The Biden administration has tried a few things to try to help pricing uh, with oil, for example, tapping into the strategic oil reserves. It, are there more tools in the toolbox here? What more can be done? We're running out, and uh, and in many ways, this might just have to play out through the economy. And we're going to start to see, we're already starting to see a consumer behavior changing. And now we're moving to buying different things. We're looking at needs versus wants. Uh, some of those services, like air travel, might start to pull back. You know, fuel is one of the biggest costs for the airline. So the airline tickets are really expensive right now. If you haven't booked your summer trip by now, you're, you're going to be paying quite a lot. So. As people start to pull back and that demand softens as we head into the year, the hope is that inflation will start to come down. All right, Alexis Christophers, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.